Welcome to How to Set Up and Operate the Baofeng UV-5R Transceiver, a tutorial for newcomers to ham radio, scanning, and transceivers. This is Part 7, Frequency Step and Dual Watch Mode. In Frequency Mode, each press of the up or down arrow will change the displayed frequency slightly, allowing a tuning effect. The amount of change is determined by the Frequency Step menu item number 01, the default setting is 2.5 kHz. Let's see the up and down tuning effect at work. Radio on. Channel mode. Switch to frequency mode. Toggle the VFO button. Frequency mode. No channel numbers are displayed. Repeatedly press the up arrow. And look at the change in frequency with each press of the up arrow. Going down. The step setting also determines the scanning option. Press and hold the scan button marked with an asterisk. Scanning begin. Notice the rate of change as it scans up through the band. It will stop when it gets an active signal. Exit to disable the scan function. Finally, the step setting affects our ability to enter an exact frequency. Let's enter this six-digit frequency into display line A, the upper upper line marked with the small triangle. Let's enter 147.000. 1, 4, 7, 0. Now press the up arrow one time. Pressing the up arrow increases, increases the six-digit frequency by the amount of the step setting. If the step setting is set to 2.5K, each press of the up arrow increases the displayed frequency by 2.5 kilohertz. Pressing the down arrow reduces the frequency by that same step amount. Let's change our step setting to the highest level, 50 kilohertz. Menu 01 menu. Scroll up to 50.0K. Past it. There it is. Confirm with menu Confirm. and exit. Now look at the rate of change. Press and hold the scan button. Scanning begin. And exit. Let's practice. How would we enter this frequency? 150.6725. 150.6725. We'll need to begin by resetting the step to 2.5 kilohertz. Menu 01 menu. Menu. Frequency step. Scroll to 2.5K. There it is. Confirm with menu. Confirm. Exit. Now we can enter our 150.6725 frequency up on, on display line A, the upper line marked with the small triangle. 150. Zero. zero, and then one press of the up arrow. Now we have one five zero point six seven two five. The five. In certain situations, the ability to monitor two different frequencies or channels at once can be a valuable asset. This can be achieved in 
two different ways. The radio can have one receiver that will flip-flop between two frequencies at a fixed interval. This is known as dual watch or dual standby. Or the radio can be equipped with two receivers. This is known as dual receive or dual VFO. The Beofeng UV5R uses dual watch functionality. One receiver monitoring two different frequencies, flip-flopping between the two. The radio also has the ability to lock the transmit frequency to one of the two channels it monitors. The option for enabling this function on the Beofeng is called Transmit Dual Receive. When enabled, the Transmit Dual Receive, or TDR, allows us to monitor two frequencies or two channels at the same time. Let's access menu item 07 and enable the TDR option. Menu 07 menu. Menu. Dual standby. Scroll to on. Confirm with menu. Confirm. And exit. The display now shows the letter S to the top left of the display. This indicates the radio is in standby mode, monitoring both frequencies or channels. As soon as an active signal is received, the S is hidden and a flashing triangle will indicate the active frequency or channel. How does it work? Let's see it in action using the fre frequency mode. Select frequency mode using the VFO button. Channel mode. Frequency mode. We're in frequency mode. No channel numbers are displayed. We want to select display line A. It is selected. There's a triangle marking that top upper line. Display line A. That's toggled with the AB button. Enter a typically active frequency. For me, it's 460.550. 460.550. Now let's s select display line B using the AB button. Enter a second frequency. I'm going to choose 443.250. 443. Now, if there is an active transmission on either of these two frequencies, the green LED will light and a flashing triangle will indicate which frequency is currently active. Even if you've toggled the AB button to monitor the frequency on display line B, the A and the B frequencies are being scanned or monitored. When the active transmission ends, the green LED will go dark and the flashing triangle will not be displayed. We can see the same function in action in channel mode. First, let's store these two frequencies to memory using two empty channels. Let's select frequency mode. It is selected. There are no channel numbers displayed and display line A. So let's toggle that. It's marked with the triangle now. Display line A is in focus. And let's store that displayed frequency to memory as channel 11. So that menu option is 27. Menu 27 menu. Menu. Memory channel. Scroll to 11 to 011. There's channel 11, 011. Press menu to store to memory and exit. That display line A frequency has been stored into memory assigned to channel 11. Let's store the second frequency as channel 12. Remember, only the frequency displayed in channel A may be stored to memory. 
as a channel. So still on display line A, make sure you're in frequency mode, no channel numbers displayed. We're Roger. in... Notice the flashing triangle on that bottom display line. We're in TDR mode. We're monitor monitoring both d frequencies. And display B is active, or was active briefly. It was marked with that flashing triangle. Even though our focus was set to display line A. That's a good example of how that TDR is going to be working. OK, back to storing uh, our second frequency into channel 12 into memory. But remember, only the frequency displayed in display A may be stored to memory. We'll ignore that for right now. So display line A is in focus. It's marked with the small, small triangle. So with that upper line chosen, let's enter that second frequency, which was 443250. Now that that frequency is displayed in display line A, we can store it now as channel 12. So again, menu 27 menu. Scroll up to 012. Zero, one, two. When you're on 012, zero, confirm with menu. Receiving them. And exit. Now, we've added two new channels with its assigned frequencies. Let's see if they're available. Select channel mode using the VFO button. Display or select display A using the A, A B button. It's selected with the small triangle. And let's set that top frequency to channel 11. So just go down one. One, one. Now, we have entered uh, channel 11 as our display line A. Let's do the same thing with this display line B. Toggle down using the AB button and scroll up and let's one, 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 two. Now we have channel 11 displayed in the upper display line, display A. We have channel 12 displayed in the lower line, display line B. Right now, we have put the focus on display line B. It's marked with the triangle. But we're monitoring. See the S? We are still monitoring both channels. So whether you're in frequency mode or channel mode, you're monitoring whatever is displayed in these two display lines. Right now, we're in channel mode. We're monitoring channels 11 and channel 12. If we go to frequency mode, frequency mode. it's monitoring display line A, display, display line B. We could change these to any frequencies. It would not affect our channels. And we're scanning right now these two frequencies. With the transmit dual receive mode enabled, our radio will be monitoring these two channels. Any active transmission on either of these channels will be heard. The green LED will light, and a flashing triangle will indicate which channel is active. Remember, only the active frequency or channel is able to transmit. Dual watch mode allows us to monitor both the A and B frequency or channel, but the AB button determines which of the two is able to transmit. The display line marked with a small triangle is available for transmission. What if we need to listen for signals on two different frequencies or channels, but we're licensed to transmit on only one of them? How can we limit transmissions to only one frequency or channel? 
while monitoring two frequencies or channels. The solution is simple and complicated at the same time. Toggle the AB button to select the frequency or channel to be used to transmit. There is display line B in focus and now display line A is in focus. Let's choose display line A as our transmit uh, frequency. Now press and hold the hashtag button until the radio audibly confirms lock. with lock. Now the keypad is locked out and the transmit function is locked onto the frequency or channel we chose. The radio will continue to monitor both frequencies or channels, but any push of the PPT switch will transmit only on the locked frequency or channel. The keypad can be unlocked the same way. Press and hold the hashtag button and it will audibly confirm with unlock. Let me do that again with the volume up. I'm going to lock it. Lock. And now unlock it. Unlock. And that's done with the button marked with the hashtag. Even if the other display squelch is broken with an incoming signal, the radio, if it's locked, will transmit only on the display that was selected earlier as the active one. Here's the complication. This is not true for UV5R radios built before 2014. The older radio software included a menu item that could lock transmission to a specific frequency or channel even when monitoring two different frequencies or channels with dual watch mode. The older software featured a menu item number 34, TDR-AB. The option allowed selection of either display line A or B as the transmitter frequency or channel. The menu item number 34, the TDR-AB, does not function on UV5R radios built after 2014. The newer UV5R radios include menu item number 34, but it doesn't seem to work. I've tried it. Here's how the older pre-2014 UV5R radios work with TDR and TDR-AB menu options. First, the key press for enabling TDR is the same, menu, 07, menu, scroll to on, it is on, you can scroll on or off, menu, exit. Now, Let's select the frequency or channel to be used for transmit. Menu 34, menu. Menu. Select A or B. The options are off, A or B. We'll choose A. Menu to confirm. Confirm. Exit. On my radio, the menu changes appear to be accepted, but it does not lock the transmitter. I can still listen to two different frequencies or channels, but the transmitter frequency or channel depends upon the toggle switch AB. Whichever display line is focused or made active using the AB button and marked with a small triangle is the frequency or channel on which I will be transmitting. Was my radio built before or after 2014? I have no idea. It looks new, since the TDR-AB option does not seem to work properly. I suspect my radio was built after 2014. Good work. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.